Hey, what's up? This is Caleb with School of Motion. And in this quick After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to export a single frame from After Effects. Now, this method can actually be a little confusing. Let me explain. So if you go over to Premiere Pro, you can export a single frame really, really easily. All you have to do is hit the little camera icon, this export frame icon, and you can call this, you know, single frame, and we can export it as any format that we want. We'll choose JPEG and hit OK. And now if we hop over to our finder, we can see that the single frame is exported and good to go. That's super easy. In After Effects, it's not quite as obvious. So there is a camera icon and literally it looks exactly like the other camera icon, but it does something completely different. This camera icon down here does a snapshot and a snapshot basically takes a temporary image of your composition so you can reference it against certain effects. So for example, I can hit this snapshot button right here and it took a snapshot. And then I can just scrub to another portion of our timeline. I can go down here. Maybe I want to turn off the background and then I can hit the F5 key on my computer and I can compare the snapshot icon with my current frame. Now, this feature can be useful, especially if you compare and contrast layers a lot or you work with really complex projects. But if you want to export a single frame in a similar method to the way we exported the JPEG in Premiere Pro just a minute ago, all you have to do is go to Composition, Save Frame As, and then select either File or Photoshop Layers. If you select Photoshop Layers, it will convert your project into a PSD format. And this can be helpful, especially if you work in an environment with multiple artists or you want to take that frame into Photoshop, uh, you know, to manipulate stuff. Maybe you're doing matte painting or some sort of design work. That's totally acceptable. But for me, I typically want to export just a JPEG or a PNG so I can upload to the web or email a client. And so I'm going to hit file. And this will basically add your single frame to the render queue. And by default, the output module is set to Photoshop. That's okay, but it's not ideal. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Photoshop text right here, and it will pop up our output module. Now just go to format and then select whatever image format you want. I'm gonna use JPEG, but you can use whatever format you want. You know, JPEG doesn't support alpha channel, so you might want to roll with PNG if you want to go down that route. Uh, but this looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And before I go ahead and hit the render button to export my frame, I'm actually going to go ahead and save this preset. So if you go ahead and hit this drop down menu here and go to make template, you can call this JPEG and hit OK. And I already have one saved here on my computer, so if I hit the drop down menu, I have JPEG saved. So if I wanted to save a JPEG in the future, I wouldn't have to click on the output module here and go to the format and change everything. I could just click on the drop down menu and select JPEG. It's really easy to do and I highly recommend saving presets in After Effects. So now you're just exporting in a similar way as you would export anything else. Just name your output. We can go to the desktop here and we'll call this AE export. Hit save and go ahead and hit render. And if we go to our desktop, we see the AE export is there. You can hit the spacebar in preview. There we go. And that's all there really is to it. One thing to think about if you work with output module templates a lot is to go up to After Effects Preferences and then go down to Sync Settings. So in the Sync Settings, you'll see this checkbox for Output Module Settings Templates. Go ahead and click that and hit OK. And now if you log into the Creative Cloud on any other machine, your Output Module Templates will be synced. It's really, really helpful. And that's all there is to it. Before you go, I wanna let you know about a really cool script. If you go to the Creative Dojo, uh, Vincent has put together a really awesome screenshot script that basically allows you to more easily take screenshots in After Effects. It's super helpful and I highly recommend downloading it if you take a lot of screenshots, which, you know, if you're an After Effects artist, chances are you probably will. So if you want to learn more about taking screenshots inside of After Effects, I recommend going and checking out the blog post over on our website. We've also put together a handy guide that will walk you through step by step how to do this so you won't forget in the future. And of course, if you want to learn more about After Effects, motion design, or the industry in general, go check out School of Motion.
This has been Caleb Ward. We'll see you next time.